And the impacts from Hurricane Nicole expected to come our way, which means the grand opening event for the Inner Harbor Ice Rink is now going to be postponed. Sorry to tell you, but the event had been scheduled for Friday and that heavy rain in the forecast now, so things being pushed back here. The rink will be open for skating Saturday, 10 a.m. Organizers have not said, though, when that postponed opening event will eventually be held. That could actually make skating just a little bit more challenging. You know what? I can barely do it as is. Especially <laughs> with it being 71 degrees here on Friday. That's what oh, we're yeah. expecting here that for too. Veterans Day. So we will warm up. Of course, we're watching the remnants of Nicole, which is going to be kind of more of an inconvenience than anything else. We'll try to break it down for you and let you know what to expect here as we head into the first part of the weekend. Right now, we're at 43 degrees, so it's getting chilly here for tonight. Upper 30s for Frederick. So again, uh, a chilly night, but quiet. But then we're going to keep our eyes on Nicole, which is now making its way towards the coast now. It's making a northward jog as it's left Grand Bahama, so it looks like it'll be... The worst of it is going to be north of West Palm, so up towards uh, Port St. Lucie, Fort Pierce, up towards Palm Bay and Melbourne, and even up towards Brevard County, up around Cape Canaveral. That's where some of the worst surge is going to be and the gusty winds. It'll move across the peninsula tonight. Still winds of 75 miles an hour. It will weaken as it moves across the peninsula, then start making its turn towards the northeast as we go into Friday. And notice by Friday evening, the remnant area of low pressure will be over the western Carolina and southwest Virginia. That's what's going to track towards our area by early Saturday morning. So, what can you expect? Tomorrow will be fine. We're expecting clouds and periods of sunshine. Temperatures will be warmer, mid to upper 60s. Now, Friday, rain and a few thunderstorms will be possible. We're going to be watching for a low end severe weather threat developing Friday evening as the low pressure system approaches our area. Minor coastal flooding with sustained southerly wind mid and upper parts of the bay. Actually going to see some coastal flooding, of course, running a little bit higher with the tide cycles. And we're also going to have gusty winds, gusts 25, 35, even 40 miles an hour here as we go into Friday night. Dark area in green here, that is a low end threat for severe weather. We're going to see if uh, the Storm Prediction Center upgrades parts of this to a slight risk because the conditions are coming together for the possibility that we could see a couple of these isolated cells spinning and they'll produce a brief tornado. Now, as far as wind gusts are concerned, the winds will increase throughout the day Friday, but the strongest wind gusts will be Friday night and early Saturday morning. That's where we could see some wind gusts getting up over 40 miles an hour. As far as rainfall is concerned, not concerned really too much about flooding. I think the heaviest rain will be in western Maryland due to the far western track. Uh, generally about an inch to two here. There may be a spot or two that gets a little bit more than that, but most areas though will be seeing between about an inch or two before it's all said and done here by Saturday morning. So the rain will start spreading into the area here by the time we head towards Friday morning and into Friday afternoon. We're going to be watching this little arc of storms as it tracks across the area late Friday into Saturday morning. That's where we could see that threat for a spin up tornado with that as it moves through. The rain will move out quickly on Saturday morning. It'll turn breezy and cooler. Now, the cold air is not going to really come into the area until Sunday. So, Saturday even it will be 65, but showers early in the morning. Weekend, besides that, looks fine, just a little chilly. Freezing temperatures expected Sunday night and Monday night. So, we'll keep an eye on Friday. Alert day in effect. We'll keep you updated. Yeah, take a look at the leaves now because after that rain, they're all going to be down. Yeah, and the wind, too. All <laughs> of us going to be gone. And the work gets started. All yeah. right. Thank you, Cheryl.